Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Ori Wa Weeb versus Seong Johan, and this is going to be a $20 money match, so the winner's going to win $20, and the loser's going to lose $20, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord, link down below at the very top of the description if you want to play any wagers like this yourself, and then hopping right in, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see some ties there, oh, three, okay, then we're going to see Seong Johan when the rock paper scissors shoot decides to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we have ash nib called by labyrinth ku clock and labyrinth stovey torby okay so i actually decided like you know ku clock we've seen a lot of people like either main deck or side deck one of those cards so like that's not that crazy but once you see stovey and then it gets kind of crazy and the called by and the nib and the ash honestly most of these cards are not normal in the labyrinth deck then they have Flashing Fire, Runic Tip, Freezing, Mole Cricket, and Freezing. Okay, so we're going to see Nichiria, Runic versus Labyrinth. This is a matchup that we've seen so much. And then, oh, oh, you see that? You see that? Enter, standby. Enter, draw phase again. That's crazy. Activate goes special. And then special summon out to Hugin. Then Hugin effect, discard Freezing, chain Ash on that. Main phase, activate Tip to go search. Um, why wouldn't you just also do that during draw phase though? Cause like you could just get hit with draw now. But okay, uh, search fountain, banish lady, activate fountain, normal summon, mole cricket, mole cricket effect, tribute, go special, bring out camilla, and then camilla effect. So camilla is gonna go dump. That's gonna dump sacred tree, sacred tree, grab Nachiria blessing, synchro off, make coral dragon, and then activate flashing fire, flashing fire to summon out fangs. If you start with Mole Cricket, this is summon 5, so then you can't make Fluor summon 5, but Mole Cricket and Graveyard is broken. And then they're going to go Fountain Effect, draw 3. So go ahead, put back 3, then draws into Flashing Fire, Slumber, and Dispelling. So we drew 3 Runic Spells, that's good. Then on Resolution, activate Nib, they said OK. Then Chain Ku Clock, OK. Then they're going to Chain Stovey. And then Stovey discard itself, discard Nib. And Nib will still tribute the field here. Um, we're going to go set Big Welcome. And then new Chain Link. We can use the Ku Clock effect since it says... Uh, I guess we can actually go over these cards since we haven't really gone over them a lot. But this card says Quick Effect, discard this card. This turn you can activate one normal trap that was set this turn. And then if you control or if you control a Labyrinth Monster. Then it says... If a card or cards is sent from your hand to the graveyard to activate a normal trap card or your labyrinth card or effect, except for Ku Clock, while this card is in your graveyard except during the damage step, you can add this card to your hand or special summon it. You can only use each effect of this once per turn. Now, Stovey is a little bit different. Uh, well, I mean, its main effect is completely different, but its side effects are different. Quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and discard one card. Set one labyrinth spell or trap from your hand or deck. If a monster, monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card. You can only use each effect of this once per turn. So this card cannot add itself back to hand. It will have to summon itself out. So, um, well, their Coral Dragon is going to be Chain Link 1 and then Ku Clock Chain Link 2. So summon out. They draw Flashing Fire. They said, I don't know what happened. Well, you can't use Mole Cricket, of course. Doesn't say when your opponent summons a monster. Yeah, I mean, if you just read this part. But it says from the extra deck. Okay, then they're going to set three. End phase. Activate Big Welcome. Big Welcome. Summon out. Lovely. Then bounce back. Ku Clock. Lovely effect. Stovey effect. Um, looks like they're just letting this go through. They could use Dispelling to, like, summon Hugin. And then Hugin protect the fountain. But it looks like they're deciding not to, which is going to cut them off from draw three next turn, which is a very interesting strategy. They draw Chandelier. Holy, they actually play all of them. So this card says, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or fill it to the graveyard. Discard one card, set one Labyrinth Spell or Trap from your hand or deck. Then, if a monster, monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect, while well, this card is in your graveyard, except you're the damage step, you can add this card to your hand. This is, I mean, it's, it's pretty much Chandelier, or it's pretty much, uh... Not Chandelier. Uh, Chandelier is pretty much Stovey, and Stovey is pretty much Chandelier, but they have, like, attack and defense difference. One summons, one adds back. And then activate the Ku Clock. Uh, I feel like you would just start with Lovely Effect, right? Because, like, if that gets stopped... I guess it can't get stopped, though. Because you would just chain this. But I guess after their Ku Clock activates, it could be like, okay, 
Now I'm gonna go freezing target lovely prior to prior to play around Stovey. So they're gonna set back the big welcome labyrinth and then attack for 29. Stovey effect send itself in chandelier. Set one from deck, and then set welcome labyrinth. Activate big welcome labyrinth. Chain flashing fire target to go ahead destroy, and then. Make them banish two, banish Nib and Ariana, big welcome, summon Ariana, bounce back Ariana. And then we're going to get the Chandelier and the Stovey effect here. So summon out, add back. Okay. Then afterwards, normal summon Ariana, Ariana effect. Go grab Lady Labyrinth, activate Lady Labyrinth, summon itself out. Set called by, end phase, Nachiria Blessing, summon Camilla. Technically, they could have done this in response to the lady effect to summon itself, right? So they could have summoned back out Mole Cricket from the graveyard. Uh, but that's fine. Effect to go dump. Uh, also, I feel like going up against a build like this, like, is a lot more tougher than the regular build. Because, like, you know, when you play against the regular build, you pretty much know exactly what to expect. You almost know their deck list card for card. But when you go up against a deck build like this... You know, I mean, a lot of people aren't used to seeing these. Like, I mean, to be honest, uh, most people aren't used to seeing these cards. Camilla, dump Sacred Tree, Sacred Tree, grab Nasheria Blessing, and then pass, draw Bell. Okay, uh, Bell could stop called by if that comes up. Activate Welcome Labyrinth, Chain Lady Labyrinth. We're going to go ahead, set Eradicator, then bring out Ariana, then activate the Ariana effect, go search for Welcome Labyrinth. Then activate Stovey, get rid of itself and Welcome Labyrinth to set from the deck. Set Big Welcome. Then afterwards, we're going to get Ku Clock to try to add itself back, but they're going to have to bell that. Yeah. Wait. Aren't they supposed to just bell this? So that way they can't eradicate you right now? Spells. Do I know your sets? You just know Big Welcome. I mean, obviously, like, we can stop Bell, but aren't they supposed to, like, try, because, I mean, they don't know called by. Slumber target Camilla, chain flashing fire, try to pop Ariana, chain blessing, chain called by target Mole Cricket, and then, oh, whoa, 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 oh, okay, fine. Nah, I wouldn't let them do that, right? Because, like, they banished Mole Cricket and then did that, so, like, they're just letting the chain resolve. Don't start resolving called by though if you're gonna do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean they're playing for twenty bucks right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, they have to reveal because Eradicator. And then get rid of those uh, Fangs effect now. So Fangs add back Fountain. And then go main phase. Overlay. Okay, decides to not overlay. Making a decent amount of mistakes. Battle phase, skip battle phase, try to pass, big welcome, bounce back, the Ariana, Stovey effect, welcome labyrinth effect, insane grind, true, this deck, what is it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got a lot of engine, you're able to, to grind with this deck very, very, very well. But on to the next game, we're going to see Runic Nichiria go first, we got Ultimate Slayer, uh, Imperm, Ariana, Welcome Labyrinth, and Ash. We haven't seen Ultimate Slayer, like, at all since its release. It had so much hype behind it, too. They have Medora, Camilla, Sunflower, Runic Tip, Camilla. The Medora and Caldo will be pretty good against this deck, though. Uh, activate Tip, Chain Ash. So I never said which effect. Oh, but no problem. I guess that's true. Okay, I guess we'll never know which effect they planned on using. I mean, to be honest, if they just asked and waited, they're definitely going to say the add effect, because there's no reason that you wouldn't use the add effect there, unless if you're very specifically trying to play around the Ash Blossom, but we will just never know what they thought about. So they're going to Ash the Hugin, summon Camilla, chain Imperm on it, go for start as Charge Warrior, Charge Warrior... And then that's going to go ahead, draw Flashing Fire, set Flashing Fire, pass, draw Cosmic. So Cosmic, target the back row, chain Flashing Fire to Special Summon. And then that's going to bring out Hugin. And then activate the Hugin effect, discard Sunflower, go search, grab Fountain. 
And then afterwards, go main phase, activate ultimate slayer to out the synchro, dump omega. It returns it to extra deck, by the way. Yeah. And then omega effect, target Medora, chain Medora to put back. And that's going to put back Hugin, Omega, and Sunflower. Alright. Uh, normal summon Ariana. Ariana effect. Go grab Ku Clock. Set the Welcome Labyrinth. Beat over Hugin. Effect put itself back. Ku Clock. Now they can activate Welcome Labyrinth. Welcome Labyrinth. Bring out Lovely Labyrinth. Lovely Labyrinth. Attack directly. And then main phase 2. Lovely effect. To reset the Welcome Labyrinth. And then pass turn. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess saying back Welcome Labyrinth is probably just the correct play there. I was going to say, you could set Imperm to try to play around the Cheeria stuff. They draw Bell. Normal Summon Camilla. Camilla Effect. Because, like, here, Camilla, Spell, Armul Cricket all do so much. Well, they're going to go Camilla Effect, dump Sacred Tree, Sacred Tree, grab Nachiria Blessing, activate Fountain, activate Nachiria Blessing, and then Blessing, bring out Camilla from the Graveyard, Overlay, go for Dugaris, and then they're going to activate the Dugaris Effect, so Detach, Draw, they draw Dispelling Fountain, then Discard Fountain, activate Dispelling, a Special Summon, that's going to bring out Fangs, and we can go Fountain 1, Fangs 2, so add back the fountain that we just discarded and then put back draw three. That's pretty good. I mean, draw three is broken. They draw freezing, the Cheerio Blessing, and Ash Blossom. Oh, the Ash Blossom too for the Welcome Labyrinth. Set the Cheerio Blessing, pass, Welcome Labyrinth, chain Ash on that, pass, draw Lady Labyrinth. And then they're going to let them go main phase. Lovely effect, try to reset, welcome, chain freezing on that, make them banish three. And then Fountain Effect to go ahead, put back, draw Destruction. Okay. Um, the Destruction draw is pretty good there too. Battle Phase, Attack over Dugaris. They don't want to beat over this because they're going to pop. Go in the Muckcracker. Effect, target Ariana to try to summon back. Then they're going to chain Bell. Oh, I knew that. Wait, no, it was a different game. Yeah, they, they didn't know about Bell. But they're going to go ahead and shut that down from summoning back. Then activate the Nachiria Blessing. So Nachiria Blessing, summon out Camilla. Then Camilla dumps Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree, grab Mole Cricket. Skip draw phase because Dugaris. But they don't really need their draw phase here. Normal summon Mole Cricket effect. And then they're going to trip you with the Camilla for cost. And then mill a Flash and Fire there. So that's a free draw. And then bring out Sunflower. Use those. Make Coral Dragon. Then make Fluor. Coral Dragon effect to draw one. And we're going to see Labyrinth of Myth Defeats. So now we're going to go into game three. This is for the $20 here. We're going to see Ori, Wa, Weeb. Go first. We got Lady Labyrinth, Chandelier, Eradicator, Extravagance, Nib. They have Runic Slumber, Mole Cricket, Runic Tip, Bell, Ash. Extravagance is probably better in this build than Prosperity, to be honest. Because I think in regular Labyrinth, Prosperity is way better than Extravagance. But in this build, you know, you're getting rid of extra cards with your effects, so you have to spend extra cards. So I, I can see how Extravagance is better. And they're playing hand traps and stuff too. Uh, extravagance, go banish, chain Ash. Then activate the Chandelier, discard itself and Nib. And then that's going to set the big Welcome Labyrinth. Set Eradicator. End phase, Lady Labyrinth summon itself out because we activate this effect. And then pass turn, draw a Cheerio Blessing. They're going to activate Big Welcome, Chain Bell on that, which is tough. Very, 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 very tough. Eradicator, Tribute, Call Spells, Chain Slumber to Special Summon. Uh, they can Chain Tip to go search. This can grab Fountain, and then Slumber can summon out Fangs. And then Fangs can add back Fountain. It's not like they're going to be able to get their Runic stuff live, though. Yeah, Reveal Mole Cricket, which is tough. Fangs Effect add back. And then go main phase, normal summon Mole Cricket, Mole Cricket effect, tribute, summon Camilla, and then activate Camilla effect on Sacred Tree, Sacred Tree, grab Blessing, then activate Blessing, summon out the Mole Cricket, pass, draw Welcome Labyrinth, 
Okay, uh, set welcome labyrinth during the main phase, effect, and then mill two is cost. That's gonna mill ash, sacred tree, bring out sunflower, sacred tree, go search Nacheria blessing, draw, they have to discard it. Yeah, then activate Nacheria blessing here. They're gonna use the effect of synchro, go on the Nacheria barkeon, and they said that's fine. Um. I guess, I mean, they, they just accept defeat at that point, right? If you don't chain. But even if you do chain, you just lose anyways, because they can just summon out Camilla. I mean, they won't do Sunflower, though, so what did they actually... I mean, yeah, what did they actually bring out? Huh. Maybe... I mean, it's just obviously a game now. They have Barking on against the Trap deck. And it's established. Camilla dumps Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree effect. Go grab Mole Cricket. Summon Mole Cricket. Make Nat Beast. Now we shut off spells too. Mole Cricket. Summon itself out. Then Battle Phase. Attack. Attack. Yup. Can you attack this turn? Yes. Oh, those were, yeah, those are like the last turn during draw phase. So they're going to attack, attack. That's 47. Then pass, draw imperm, that's not gonna do anything. GG's, GG's. Run back, it's like 2 a.m., I played bad. Yeah, dot, 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 dot. Wow, they said, wow, they said I played bad, and they said, yeah, you know, you did. That's why I want the run back. I'll DM PayPal, we can play tomorrow. Will you open Ashbell? Yeah, that was insane. All right, so Maybe we're going to go ahead and see the run back between these two. I wonder if it's going to be like the same decks. You know, Labyrinth with a bunch of engine versus Nachiria Runic. And that is going to be it for the video. If you want to watch my Labyrinth things to remember, I'll leave a link to that down below right under the Colosseum. So that way you can watch that if you want to see some things that you need to remember about Labyrinth. You know, don't, don't let them cheat you or don't make mistakes against them like that. So that way you don't get caught slacking against one of the most popular decks. And with that being said, the DB Grinder sending off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.